All right, well, we're back with more Elden Ring. Third of one day. Yeah, two and one. Holy shit. Technically, yeah. Um, wait, did we record episode three today? Yeah. Oh my god, we did, didn't we? Uh-huh. Damn. We recorded, at the very least, it seems like four and a half hours of footage. Yeah. Because, no, wait. We did a large yeah, portion yeah. of the day. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is going to be four and a half. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck. But yeah, today's episode's gonna be the last one for a bit, probably. Maybe. You know what? I'm gonna go see if I can fight that guy. And, uh, we're gonna be just doing some passive grinding. Uh, we're gonna be fighting, like, just random bosses. Maybe try Ranala again. Probably at the, near the end of the episode, yeah. I'll probably try this... her again. If we, if we uh, get enough of levels, at least. Just letting you guys know right now, this might be a filler episode. So, we're I'll just... Oh, thank God it's one of these things. We're just trying to do eh, anything we can. We need levels. We want to level up at least twice. We want to get this Vihander at least leveled up a bit more. Uh, that kind of thing. So let's just run amok and go beat some fucking trees. Hmm. Ooh. I can't tell just yet. Oh, it's this one with the Scarlet Rot. <laughs> Well, at least the jumping attack is decent damage, but we gotta deal with that shit. Now, this is one I have to fight right now in my playthrough. Fuck. <laughs> okay, moving. Okay, this one might be a bit too hard right now. Alright, let's not fight him then. Because we don't um, have exactly very good resistance if, for... If you want, we can always go start doing maybe the festival shit. And go True. fight I'll that mean... guy. Okay, I think we have to go f kill one more thing before we can g do the festival. Uh, yeah, I don't, how, I don't remember how it works. I don't remember either, but the, yeah, there's like a... I'm going to just see something real quick. I guess one there's like a second way to get in there. Into ah, the festival. at least 12 things for this. Damn. Maybe having two faith... Uh, not right now. We can, do, we can worry about that later when we run into uh, more poison areas. Yeah. You know what? I, I just remembered something we can go fight. Hmm. Let's go fight Neil. Neil? Oh. Is it the guy I'm thinking of? The, yeah, the, the horseback fucking... guy. Oh, horseback guy. Uh... He's like, uh, right here, I believe. It's kind of weird that I get back on my computer and now all of a sudden it's like... It looks like it's uploading faster. It's now at 67%. We weren't... We I felt like we were gone for a little longer than that. Yeah. We, we watched a whole 20-minute video. If you sure did. And we recorded... No, wait, we just now started recording this. Wait, what do you mean by horseback guy? Like, I, You mean you fight him on horseback? Uh, I, 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 I thought he was on horseback. Maybe, yeah. No. Maybe I'm mistaken. No. Man, I was stuck on him for a long time. Still have never beaten him yet. Okay, I was wrong about where he was. Okay, uh, I'll I'll find him eventually. No, he's in there. He's here. He's around this area somewhere. Just... No, he's in there. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just. If you're talking about the guy that summons people. Yeah, he's yeah. in there. Oh, I know. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, I've met him plenty of times. I know where exactly where the fuck he's at. <laughs> I know for sure where he's at. Oh. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's decent damage. It's just a matter of not getting hit. That's all. As long as we don't get hit by him and take a lot of damage, we should be all right. And hopefully, uh, our summons will take care of his summons. And what's annoying about his summons? I think they can come back. Well, so can mine. Well, yeah, because yours literally can be revived. Thank goodness. I'm just saying, like, I always thought that his was infinite because I never, really, I don't think, killed all of them. Wow. Hot damn, alright. That was nice. And yeah, he's gonna do the fucking big storm thing. You're making him look a lot more piss easy than I made him out to be. He's, not, he's nothing. Especially if you fight him on horseback. Since, that, the game, since the game lets you. That would probably explain why. I probably just ended up trying to fight him not on horseback. All the time. He's especially easy if you use magic. Which I, which I did on my first playthrough, to be fair. 
That's what I'm doing, but it's just like, I gotta get that dis- it, It's mainly the crossbow guys always kind of fucked me up. And plus, when I first fought him, I was pretty bad at the Elden Ring. I've gotten a lot better over the... Well, year. I guess you're staying locked onto them on purpose. Uh, actually, no. I, I didn't realize I was locked onto them. Those guys are fucking obnoxious. But again, if we do play on horseback, I mean, it does it definitely seems like it makes it way easier. And plus, we can tank at least one hit, which is fine. Mm -hmm. And some, it's so very horse in some instances. Yeah. That's not bad at all. I miss some of my attacks, though. At least this game lets you attack on the left. Thank God for that. Ow, fuck. Ah, uh, okay, I got greedy. Yeah, you got super greedy. I got very greedy there. Okay, I can do it next on this turn, though, for sure. Just gotta be a lot more patient. Let me try fighting them. Okay. Yeah, just, because I, I, I don't know. Not horseback-wise. I want to try fighting them like... Oh, uh, like a man? Well, <laughs> ah, I'll fall at the very least, but they might know, get poisoned a bit. It's just annoying. I think I'll fight him for a bit on horseback, cause like he's already summoning right now, so I might as well just take a few hits in, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, leave me alone. It's been a while since I fought him normally. Well, I say normally, but you know. Yeah, I know. Since I fought him hand to hand. At least his attacks are nice to you. Fuck him. <laughs> kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'll just kill him. <laughs> you got a boss. Fucking get rid of him. He doesn't need to exist anymore. He'll be gone. I just wanted to see if I could just get good, but I'm not good, so it's fine. Let's go beat his ass in my own playthrough at some point. Actually, the dogs were pretty decent, so I'll summon them too. I guess while you're doing that, I'm gonna go check my stats. My AC nice stats. Damn it, I got. I, he killed my horse and I fell off. He killed my horse. Oh yeah, I forgot that one punch is getting season three. It is, and then it's by the same people that did two. Yeah, so it's not so, gonna be as good. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Don't really care. Okay, Transformers did a pretty okay job for the first fucking episode. <laughs> Dread did pretty reasonable, actually. Dread, I'm, I'm surprised had some some decent stuff here and there. Not as much as I would like. God of War did a lot better. Okay. Dead Space didn't get much. It's fucking Dead Space. God damn, I got fucking wamboed. It's so funny, weird that fucking chapter two of Wolverine still has fifteen hundred fucking views. Just That's chapter weird. I for our recording. The first episode like has like five hundred. The fuck happened? Spiderhouse this this Spiderhouse guy didn't do Potentially very well. It, well, I think my original one did b better in terms of views. I think more people like that one. Let's see. Uh, yes and no. My actual Splatterhouse playthrough on on my channel, like my Let's Play, the first episode I think has like four thousand views now. Which is pretty good. 
Of course, again, that's nothing compared to, like, my most viewed video, though, but my most viewed video is also not a Let's Play video. Oh, what so. the... Oh, his AoE attack got me. I still think that was fucking insane. That broke my goal. Mm-hmm. Like, by a long shot. And I was like, shit, all right, cool. <laughs> I will take it. I only, I, I, I just, I only wanted one video to get, like, so many views, and then I got it. So that's, like, one out of three goals for my YouTube I need. The, the other one, of course, is a thousand subs. Even if I get a thousand subs and it drops down to, like, 999, I don't care. Once I get a thousand, it's like, good, I hit that goal. Awesome. And then my other goal is to finish, have a hundred Let's Play finished. And that one's doable. So. That one is certainly... Oh, fuck. Certainly within the scope of being reasonable. It's good to have goals. Especially ones that are, are, that are obtainable. Now, technically, if I wanted subs, couldn't I just start streaming? I mean, I could always just maybe start doing that shit probably after I finish my Let's Plays. Just get my hundred whatever it is done, and there you go. And just start streaming the rest of them, right? Just be like, mm -hmm. hey, let's just start streaming games. Let's just do <laughs> Elden Ring DLC. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to have 100 Let's Plays done by the time Elden Ring DLC comes out. Did he stagger himself? He didn't stagger, he was just tired. Fuck! Man, you're eating shit. That's why we got healers. Greed is massively strong. It's disgusting. It, it's for this. That's what it's for. It's for this. But I, I kept fucking running around my horse without being able to jump off because I got stuck in the animation. Oh, which yeah. was all on my which was all my fault, so I couldn't get the punish. Uh, <sighs> ooh. That was a bit of an oopsie poopsie on my end. The dogs definitely do seem to help. I'm actually I'm curious about something. Some might say that was more of like an oopsie daisy. I'm gonna I'm gonna curious about how the uh, the. I could send him. I'll try. I'll try him out. He's not that great for this fight. Well, for me, he wasn't. You could try him. I mean, he could probably work for you, but when I used him, it didn't help much. <laughs> because there's like a lot of snipers, and sometimes he'll probably just snipe them. But I don't know. Maybe we might get lucky. He might do more damage to him. Who knows? Ow. Yeah, see what I mean? He just yeah. kind of—he uses the one sniper shot to hit a random crossbow guy instead. Fuck. Now, if you spawn him near him, he'd go for melee. Uh, they can, okay. Yeah, they can do that, but I don't that's know. what I was wanting him to do. But yeah, if you spawn them from far away from the boss, they will just go for—he will just go for a sniper shot instead. So, yeah, it sucks, man. I'm actually starting to get kind of bored. <laughs> well, at the end, it's fine, because this is a, a chill episode. I know, but, like, nothing's going to happen. Other than us fighting him, yeah. Yeah, I was like, that sounds fucking boring. I don't know. I, I think it's because like, we recorded, like, two episodes today, and I'm already feeling kind of, you know, burnt out and winded. Mm -hmm. That's probably why. And it's also just really late. Yeah, it's also super late. It's already 12. <laughs> 12 at midnight. And plus, we're not really fighting, you know, Renala or anything reasonably entertaining, I guess you could say. 
Like, Godric's fun to fight. Stuff like that. I just feel like O'Neill is just fucking... He's just like the easiest uh, boss to get to that I can think of. He's just here. Like I said, we can always just do, like, cave bosses. God damn it. I'm also just really bad at parrying, at, like, getting the punish on him. Because, like, every time I stagger him, I don't get off my force fast enough to, like, punish him. <laughs> yeah. So at that point, it's pointless just to fucking try me going for it. Could have been avoided if I just wasn't greedy on my first fight against him. Yeah, true. That's fine. The thing that pisses me off about this fight is his stupid fucking summons, man. Yeah, they're annoying. <clears throat> I'm like, I think you can't really fully get rid of them anyway. I mean, like, you can kill them, yeah, sure, but I mean, like, I don't think they disappear forever. I think they come back, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Those small arrows do enough damage to just get in the way. But yeah, if we just play it safe, don't get greedy. Gonna do one more attack and then. There we go, there's another hit. Like, as long as you just wait for him to do his full pattern of attacks and then go in, it should be alright. So. Yeah, like, when he does shit like that, you know, we can always just wait and then attack. Just do like a quick side swipe. I guess it's possible. We just gotta, we just gotta do like one hit at a time, and no, none of those, you know, double greedy hit shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my fucking ear itches. <coughs> Why? See, I think that might summon more guys. Maybe. That's what he does in the first part of the fight. Yeah, he's some of like melee guys now. Oh yeah, he did. Fuck. Well, they're just melee guys. The worst they'll do is just that. That, yeah. Fuck. Let me try him again. All right. At this point, maybe finding him just on the ground will be easier because at least they don't punish him better. We're not even doing enough damage to him anyway. It's fucking pointless. Yeah. I'm getting all itchy for some reason, too. At least the running back is quick. Yeah, like, it's just right there, yeah. I should have horsebacked, but, oh well. Try something there. God damn, those things are annoying. The problem with being on foot is the uh, crossbows. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get hit by them. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I could get crossbowed at any second. Also, there's a couple of places where we can get rotted. Yep. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> I could have got hit by that one. Ah. Uh, ooh, man, I'm eating shit. Yeah, I'm getting your horse for a bit. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Man, I just said uh, that the, the rock go away. Yeah. But that's gonna get pretty bad. Oh God damn. What the fuck killed I, me? He, he, I guess he got... I don't know. That was weird. Typically, you just go down the ground instead of just getting killed while falling off your horse. I think I might know a way of how to deal with the horse part of it. I think we need to attack him on his right side because his weapon's in his left hand. Mm -hmm. So maybe we do that. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, I, I get you. And since he has a soul's boss, I think that makes sense. The 
plenty of damage there. And then hop on horse. Yeah, the problem is I miss. <laughs> miss my shots. Yeah, because you, you gotta, like, time when you do your R1s. Yep. Okay, the problem is with, like, the problem is with doing that, though, is, like, he just swings around completely, so it's fucking annoying. Nah! He's a bit, he's being a bit more trouble than I thought he'd end up being. Yeah, he is. That's why I stopped him beating him. <laughs> he's just a fucking punk. Well, let's just go beat some fucking caves, I guess. Alright. I mean, I feel like that might be the best option, you know, at this point. But I have a wild idea. Call it a wild arms. Ow. That was dumb. I should not have gotten hit there. My idea is, what if I just get on horseback and then do like a jump thing. But that would take too much fucking time. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll use the iframe for the rest of the attack. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, yeah, horseback might just be the option we need for this fight. We just gotta be a lot more patient. Oh yeah, big time. I'm gonna get knocked out of it, but I'm standing right in Scarlet. <laughs> Horse can save you. Yes. Can you fucking... And dogs can kill you. Dogs be doing that. They be getting in the way and shit. What? How? Them? Maybe? I don't know. I was gonna die anyway, but... I kinda wanna kill them fuckers off. One more shot for me. Alright. I don't know, I just... Sometimes you feel like you can do it, you know? Mm-hmm. Son of a bitch. If this doesn't work, I'm fine with just going to beat up some other guys. There he is. Get out of the way. Yeah, you almost have you probably almost have to fight this thing on, on horseback just because of the fucking scarlet everywhere. But then like if I fight on horseback with these guys, they're hard to hit. Yeah, because they're a lot smaller. Oh yeah. And of course the, all the dogs go straight for him instead of the, the actual summons. I, I, I guess I'm just too fucking tired tonight to do this shit. Yeah, maybe we could try the, uh, uh, him on the next episode. <clears throat> yeah. At some point, he'll be real easy. Why am I going to go piss again? Must be the tea I drink. Trying to debate on where to go. I mean, there are probably a couple more things here we could do. There's the cave that takes us to this island we can do, but that's not going to give us very many runes, which is kind of the point. Hmm. The boss in the Albanaric village is annoying. Yeah, Elden Ring's philosophy is kind of like, if one boss can't be beaten, why not go fight someone else? You know what? Sure, fuck it. Let's just go fight this thing. Let's, Let's just go, go to the Magma Worm. Alright. That should be relatively easy with our, uh, with our strength, though. As long as we're, uh, careful. And we can just summon the guy. It, just, it might take a bit for us to get all the way up there, but it'll be worth it in the end. Yep. Yeah. I hope so. I'd like to just kill a boss this this run. 
But we're, we're not gonna be able to kill with Neo at least for a while. He's too much of a fucking asshole to deal with right now, man. He's too fucking tanky for that shit. And we're like, and we don't have like any bleed or anything, so it's not like we have extra damage coming from that. We're just pure strength. Yeah. I'd say once we do at least maybe double or even triple our damage. I mean, something I could try is instead uh, switch from the Zweihander to our Bloodhound Fang because that does have bleed on it. Yeah, but I don't. It won't do as much damage, but the bleed will potentially help. But <coughs> I don't. No, I. That's just an idea for some other time. Let's just not fuck with it. Yeah, the Magma will be a lot easier. We're not doing the Caleb one, right? Uh, no, it's a different one. There's also that other boss in Caleb, the, uh, Rotted Queen, or whatever the fuck it's called. Mm hmm It has, like, all the... the magic guys around. <clears throat> that, you know, you have to fucking hide away from. Or at least kill them. You got lucky there. I <laughs> sure did. Ow. Alright, now I'm gonna close the back, because this is getting hot now. It is. <laughs> and you're right underneath that shit. I, I am. I'm getting a bit, I'm getting a bit moist now. Oh. That's why I got this snuggie here. Good. Oh. Yeah, this thing is not gonna... This is not gonna work. The way I want it to. Ah. Oh yeah, there's a little seat here. I forgot. Oh. oh. Hot damn. Yeah, look at that. A nice grace as well. There'll be two more or so, I think. Yeah, there'll be two more. Maybe recording this late at night was not a smart idea. It could be a little bit shorter than the regular episodes of the regular, since it's mostly just fucking grinding and messing around. I mean, episode lengths don't really matter as much really in the scheme, yeah. It's it's just play, it's just us playing Elder Ring until we get fucking tired of it. <laughs> Pretty much. I think we should definitely probably take a break after today, maybe. Oh yeah. We'll probably wait until the next time I'm over before we do any more Elder Ring. Possibly. Knowing me, I sometimes get that mood of wanting to record again. But man, I'm burning myself. Maybe I should have just said fuck it, no more co-op stuff for a while. But the problem with that though is if I take that few months break, even from co-op shit, you know, like, we got Bloodborne we're doing, you know, mm -hmm. which will be dispersed in between. Well, that's kind of partly why I said, you know, I don't care about the co-op stuff because, okay. or why I'm fine with co-op stuff, because it only happens once a week, maybe, if even that, you know? So, I don't know. I think what I should do at some point is just say, no YouTube at all for this long, and just none. Yeah, just no co-op, no co-op shit, no single player shit, none of it. I think what I always could do is maybe see if we can try to finish. Well, we're not gonna be able to finish our co-op shit within three months. You're not even off for like three months. No, <laughs> so. It'll take us a long time to finish fucking Elden Ring. It's going to take us a little bit of time to finish Fear 3. And that's going to take us a bit of time for me and David to finish Goemon. Well, that one will get finished. But we still have, like, Street Fighter to do and fucking PlayStation All-Stars to do. So maybe I think what I should say is, within this three-month period, no more new co-ops. Let's just fucking finish what we have now and do what we have now. So I think that's what I should say. That way I can stop this YouTube shit. But like I said, I mean, this week's a different week because you're here now. Mm -hmm. I'm taking advantage of that situation. And just, oh, it's this form. Oh, God. This one's not that bad. No, I know, but getting to him sucks dick. Yeah, but once, once there, the statues at least make it easier Yes. you die. It's just these Getting into bats. him initially is what is uh, rough. Ow. Well, we can take, yeah, we can take some damage. That's not bad. Can't use torrent here though, which sucks. I'm just gonna have them to, uh, have them here to distract most of these guys. I usually use dogs, cause they're kind of fast. 
The other problem too is like getting poison. Like we never had the the stuff to take care of it. But yeah, like the main big co-op stuff right now that needs to be done is like Bloodborne and Mario Brothers. And then we also got Mario Party Gauntlet, which has been going on for pretty much years at um, this point. Literally, yes. Years. It's been going on for years, and it and Mario Party 1 just finally got finished. <laughs> <laughs> so, take that with what you will, guys. We, we recorded at least two episodes of Mario Party 2, but only one is up, so... Now don't ask me. He's not in charge of that. But if it was, it would be up by now. Yeah. This is what I do. Oh well. Oh yeah, there's not even a, a statue. It's just there's a grave right next to the boss, which is nice. That silly guy. That silly guy just died. How funny. No, oh, I remember him being there. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I could have sworn I forgot about him. but yeah, Just take this jolly cooperator, let him do a bunch of stuff. Cool. And then these guys can do some damage from range. Yeah. As long as they don't get hit anytime mm -hmm. soon. Should be quite alright. But yeah, don't forget about his second phase. I'm sure you won't, because I remember you fighting him for, like, hours that oh, one Oh, yeah. I remember. And I fought a, far, a harder version of him, too. In, like, a much worse arena. The one in Kaled? Uh, yeah, he is in Kaled. It's, you get the moon veil from him. The fire pit? Uh, it's not, it wasn't, he wasn't in a fire pit. He was in a cave. Oh. Because the one in Kaled I'm thinking of is, like, surrounded by lava. That's some decent damage. Yeah, that's... That's all right, damn. That's more damage I think that you were doing when you're playing. It sure right? was. So that's not too bad. Did we just fucking straight block that? Dude? We did, yeah. With like barely any stamina, we still made it. That's awesome. Yeah, please kill him. <laughs> I love watching bosses get wrecked in these games. It makes my dopamine go up. Which is why this episode feels kind of, you know, eh, right now. <laughs> it's feeling better now that we're fighting an actual boss that would be beatable, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll beat him. It's just when I see O'Neill, he just... I guess I get PTSD flashbacks or something. I, I just been like, ah, no, man, not him. Anything but him. O'Neill is pretty much the Dark Souls 3 boss of Elden Ring. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just fucking straight boring, annoying, won't fucking die anytime soon. Well, I mean, a lot of bosses in Dark Souls 3, to be fair, are somewhat easy. I mean, a lot of the beginning bosses are, like, ridiculously easy. And then the key, the, what are they called, the Keepers? The Watchers? The ones that spawn, like, multiple clones of themselves, the sword guys? They're cool, honestly, you know. But, uh... They're kind of annoying to fight. Yeah, he, he was on the fucking fire. I couldn't do anything. No, I know. No point, anyway. I mean, we still got our, our friendly, you know... He's still alive for now. Say, so save up your stamina just a bit so you can get the rolls out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's about to die. Yeah. Also, the missing doesn't help. <laughs> Wonder if, wonder where they got that fire. I'm just gonna take him out of this corner. All right. When the fuckers a Quaylog wanna be. Here comes something big. Should we like? I don't know. I feel like rolling under him might not help much. I'm gonna be safe because we have a more than enough health. God, I hate when that shit does this. I, I, I unlocked myself because oh. I got scared. Well, I also just hate getting stuck in a corner. Not, even like, like, not like stuck stuck, but just more like, you know, getting backed up into a corner. Oh, are you fucking, oh, you fucking kidding me, dude? 
We were right there, too. Oh, we'll get him next time. I, just, I, I got I panicked. Yeah, actually. Yeah. I got a bit too panicked there at the end. I, if I just was calm and didn't roll two times in a row when I didn't need to, we, I would have been fine. We would have been just fine. That And being in that corner for so long basically uh, just destroyed that other, our collaborator's help. Pretty much, yeah. He got stuck. Alright, he should be coming soon. There he is. I know you can technically walk in without him. And he'll pop, he'll spawn in, you know, soon. But I don't know, I kind of like to be a little safe. Fair enough. I guess. Dick. Just probably back up here, huh? Are you kidding me? Those were a fucking spin attack of all things. <laughs> I should probably just attack the head, actually. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, that's a good idea. What the... I am not doing so well. Boom. Nice dagger. Very nice, and nice setup, too, actually. Whoosh. That's Good always, damage. That's always I hate how, like, when they're on the ground, you can't really hit them. Oh. Yeah. Because, like, they're just in... Uh, what the fuck, dude? Why is that an insta-kill? <laughs> <laughs> of all goddamn things, that's a fucking insta-kill. That yep. sucks. I mean, what I should be doing is what you were doing, which was blocking... Yeah, blocking and th that, and I think I know it's attacked a bit better. Yeah, you're right now considering I spent fi five hours fighting this damn thing in <laughs> my other playthrough. Pretty much, honestly. I'm gonna summon the other guys instead. Fuck this. These guys can deal with them. Oh yeah, and if they die, then they can come back a couple of times before they fully go away. Oh, cool. All right. Because as long as they don't, get, uh, as long as he doesn't finish them off, then they'll just pop back up full health. Finish him out. Yeah, it's that fucking like bringing that shit back is what hits me. That's what does some decent damage to me. This is the move I hate him doing the most. Oh, yeah, because then you can't do anything. Yeah, he does it three times, by the way. Oh. I killed one guy. Killed the one of them going to die because of the fire. Yeah. Son of a bitch. I was going to see if I could get like, a hit in there. But apparently not. Can I please hit you? I did okay last time because I got like at least a stagger on him. But now it's just like it's I can attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should have saw that one coming. <laughs> You'll remember the animations eventually. <laughs> yeah. There you go, stagger. At least with with our build, we're getting staggers a lot faster than I ever did. Which is nice. It's extremely helpful. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna kind of have to wait. Is that the? Uh, no, that's just a one a one fireball forward. And spin, spin attack. attack. Yep. Spin attack and... His tells are pretty easy. Okay, he's going to move. Yeah. The annoying one is coming. I'm not going to wait three minutes for this fucking thing to stop. I guess since he hit me, he stopped. Whoa. Spin attack? Wait, no. That's the insta kill one. Oh. I jumped the hit circle like an idiot. I don't know what that was for, but... Okay, he's gonna be going to the second phase now, after the spin attack. Nice. That's very nice. Oh, I think you skipped his animation of uh, breathing on, on, on fire on the thing, and now he just already has it. Oh, shit, okay. That's pretty funny. All right, hell yeah. So now the only thing I can do is, of course, foot attacks. Mm-hmm. Also, our shield is, like, really good. As long as you have the, uh, good enough stamina for it, yeah, you won't take any damage, as long as you're blocking. True. Does he have any, like, special AoEs I should be careful of? That one. That's the main one? Yeah, the big slam. Okay. The, Come on, or the slam. big cheese, if you want to call it that. That too. That one was also a little dangerous. Ooh. Oh, that was close. That was but like, if you if you dodge up right, you can punish him. Okay. Oof. I was. I think I was blocking, but I still got hit. 
That's also how annoying tag to deal with. There goes the friend. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Alright. I can get a really good in there. Yeah, better safe than sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump in there with that shit. This is insta kill. Uh, thankfully no. But this is dangerous. That happens, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got this. He's so close. Fuck. We both did it too. <laughs> All right, this is the last. This is our last attempt. Because, because we'll do it. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Bring out our guy. Bring out our summons. And kick his fucking ass. <laughs> Please kick his fucking ass. You could always wait for him to spawn in. Like, go That's inside. That's what I always... No, I mean, like, go inside and then, like, then he'll show up. Because, like, while you're fighting this guy, he'll show up. Without getting attacked first, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You'll focus on you first and your buddies first. And then when the time's right, then cooper Co-op Friendo will be there. But he's there now, so <coughs> Yeah, you're right. As long as we just stay patient with this fight and just avoid Oh I got the hit attack off. Oh wow, okay. This one's of course, you know, the stupid three thing. This move right here is the killer. It sure is. This is what stops our friends from <laughs> staying alive. <coughs> and I don't think... Um, All right, he's going to pull it back. Oh, no, I guess he didn't pull it back. I don't think our jelly cooperator can heal himself. He's, he's got one heal. <coughs> oh, okay. Was he a uh, jelly cooperator on a Breedus? Couldn't he heal? I think he was a healer. Himself. I don't remember. I think so. I feel like it was. And then the old Hunter's DLC kind of added more, mm -hmm. you know, buddies here and there. <coughs> God damn, why do I get these fucking hiccups all the time? I forgot I had that move. Is that attack coming? <coughs> Jesus Christ. There's something in my throat. Okay, got that hit off. Good. At least the fire doesn't stay on for too long. Okay, I think which is I'll nice. Just, I'll at least go into a second phase now. And my skellies are still alive, at least. Okay. Not damn. I want, I want him away from that area, though. That's too yeah, well, he's not going to move. <laughs> Talking about the boss itself? Yeah. Yeah, he seems to be kind of distracted right now with... Other, God damn it. I better not have another fucking hiccup attack again. At least my skeletons are gone, so... <coughs> ah. Sorry about that, folks, but there's something in my throat. It's bothering me. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we got the ability to do it now. And nice. it gets some health back. Good. Alright, so, yeah, keep in mind that our friend might die soon, but we gotta keep on our toes. There he goes. <coughs> I was gonna say, just ignore what he's doing and just, you know. Yeah, do what we can. Well, at least I can lure him back into an easier place to be at. True. Ah, I misjudged that. I think the reason why I get hiccups so much is because, like, I get, like, gas buildup or something. Because usually, I, like, I burp after I hiccup. That's a good attack to have going. Okay, we got greedy right there. We're still fine, but yeah. Let's just have it greedy. Oh, yeah. I was in the fire, fuck. <coughs> ah. 
Okay, I think the main problem is the fact that we keep getting him stuck all the way near the beginning because of our guys. So I'll, I'll wait to I'll wait to uh, I get a little bit farther in before I summon my guys. There, come on. I'm gonna go grab a drink then. Probably smart. No late bag thing kind of sucks a little bit, not gonna lie. Yeah. Ah, I, fu I fucking got caught in the flyer, so I couldn't punish him. Oh, poopy. I really shouldn't drink all that tea because now I gotta go pee again. This is why drinking tea is not really a good idea. Good thing. That hit me, damn. Damn. Also, Skelly, but bros are dead. Oh. Oh well, it's all right. Sometimes I like one v one fights better. Hopefully the mic can still hear. Yeah, I can still hear me. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just back here hanging out, guys. Don't mind little old me. Gonna say, are you sure that's safe? Nice, nice. Going. Time to skip the fire animation, maybe. Mm, probably not. I don't know. All right. Now things are getting interesting. It's crazy how far my channels come. I mean, the only Souls game I ever played on the channel yet was Bloodborne. I, I'm not very confident with my skills. I mean, I'm okay at Demon Souls, but I'm not like, oh wow, you know. I'm gonna have like the greatest of times. And I'm definitely not confident with Dark Souls. And, and fuck too. <laughs> not confident with that one either. That was close. I feel like I would be the type that would like Dark Souls too, but there's one problem though, is I only have Scholar in the first end. Oh yeah. I don't have an original vanilla copy of Dark Souls 2. But like I said, I feel like I would easily be the type that would like it, but I just, I can't, because the game, they had to make a shittier fucking game about it. And it's the only version of it I have. And that sucks. Both the remastered version and the one I have. So you're getting a little crazy there. My guy's still allowed to take off the damage, so. Yeah. We can wait for him to distract him. Come on, broski. Him in the tail or something, man. Fucking fire shit. Oh, god fucking damn it. You got greedy again, got, dude. I got way too greedy again. Just stop getting fucking greedy, man. Just go in. Just, you know, hit once. See what happens and roll away. Let me try him again then. Alright. I'm just roll I keep falling into my bad habits, which is honestly yeah, my... Yeah, stop. Uh, worst quality. <laughs> Big guy. I don't see him do that yet. Uh, he does that pretty often. Oh. Shit. So now I got green there too. And spin? Uh, and skill. And at least the block uh, got you. Good.
Oh, he moved just out of the way. Yeah. God damn it. Dude stuck in the fire won't get out. That's just great. I should probably aim for the head. You should aim for the head. Oh my god, reference? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's gonna miss, yep. I just need to get the telegraphs down for his his funny haha -ha spin. Which is spin. that one. Okay. So I kinda I think I have a good idea of that one now. Wow. Wasn't even me. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, it works. <clears throat> My problem is buddy's gonna die soon. This is the the pushback one. Okay, never mind. He didn't do it. Typically, that one means he's, he'll he'll pull back, and uh -oh. now he's second phase time. Oh, I should be underneath him, huh? Looks like if you just stay to the right for that one, you kind of. If you want, you can like unlock on his head and, and go. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Actually. That's so much. Oh, he's staggered. I'll take it. It's good damage, so yeah, why not? You don't really need it, but it's technically also a heal. Yeah. I'm getting dumb. I'm gonna go for one. Wait it out. Okay. Nice. Okay, good. I'm gonna wait. Nice. Wow. A stagger. Holy shit. Thanks, boss. <laughs> Damn. This bro's fucking going for it, dude. Insta kill. If you got hit by it, it probably would be, yeah. Okay. No more creed! It's time to back the fuck up. Use the pillar. <laughs> Let him dig some micro. I think our friend. No, he's. He's still alive. I don't want him killing him, though. Got him. Nice. Alright, cool. We did it. There you go. It didn't take nearly as long as it took me to try to get him. Yeah. Do, do we have enough scas? Oh, yeah, that's a trophy. Yeah, that's my first time ever killing him. Huh. Man, I got the kill. Exactly. So, it counts. <laughs> cool. Oh, you faith for that one. Okay. Well, there you go. We got one magma worm down out of like three or four. One of the harder ones, honestly. That's the harder one. Yeah. I, uh, granted, to be fair, uh, <laughs> Damn. this is one I ha this is the one I had more trouble with, and we have enough to level. Well, let's go fucking do it. We'll get to 40 strength and then start leveling some other things again. Alright, cool. We got four more levels to go for strength, right? Mm hmm. Four more levels, then we'll be done with strength. Alright, where are you going? I'm just going to activate this and then see if there's anything I can jump off to to maybe get extra items or something. Is this where we can uh No, this will bring us back up to Atlas Plateau. And oh. then I can just go grab a, a Grace that's relatively near. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, cool. I thought this was taking us back, and I'm like, I don't want to fucking go back to the birds. I don't want to go back to the bats. The birds and the bats. Very neat. Awesome. How, uh... How nifty, actually. Holy shit. <clears throat> yep, that's the way to go if you don't want to get the Dexter medallions. But we did on this playthrough, so... That's crazy. And there's also a dragon that you can fight here, but he's way too fucking strong. We're not doing that. Yeah. I wouldn't mind maybe probably taking down all the dragons, but if they're that strong... They're strong as hell. We'd have to probably wait till we're, like, really, really grinded up, right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember if there's a boss in this little area, but the dragon's, like, to the right. At least we load up, and we at least we have a, a, a grace, so... Mm-hmm. 
Wait, the dragon boss is to the right? Yeah, this area he doesn't spawn in. It's just, just a big old area for some reason. Probably. Is this a cave? Yeah. It is a cave. I forgot about this one. Alright, let's go fucking... I'd, you know what? Out of all things, I'd rather be in a fucking cave <laughs> than a mining shaft or a catacombs <clears throat> thingy. Did I buy the lantern from that guy? I don't think I did. No. I remember you showed me that you could buy it from him, but I don't think we ever did. Yeah, we didn't because... uh we need it. The, yes, yes what, this one's dark. I'm a, we have the money for it, so I'll just do a quick one, two. And you gotta leave the cave first to teleport. You were, thank you for reminding me. And that's what this game does for some fucking reason. Alright, cool. We got 4,000, yeah, so we should be fine. Yeah, it's only 1,500. Alright. Might as well. We're gonna need it. Now, are all the merchants the same person? Uh, they're different. Okay. I kind of figured they would be. I was wondering, like, how they could... How, like, one guy could get around. Everywhere. Alright. Back up top we go. Sage's Cave. I don't think I've done this one yet, ever. Sage's Goon Cave. Let's go. Sage's Goon... Sage's Goon Cave. The mighty sage who sat in a cave and gooned all day. Until one day someone found him gooning in his cave. I don't know why they would call it a, a man cave. They should just call it the goon cave from now on. I guess we didn't need the lantern because it's kind of somewhat bright in here. A little bit, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it might be kind of dark to see the, you know, hard to see the walls here, I guess, probably. So, I guess it's not that bad. You know that one cave that has, like, the ants in them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I'm, I think we're definitely strong enough to take them down, though. I'm just saying that's going to be an annoying one to get through. I think that leads to another boss, like another dragon boss, I think, maybe. Probably. I can't remember. But that's, like... That's not the underground area, is it? I think so. Wow. Also, I'd be fucking terrified if I saw those guys running at me when I opened up an invisible wall. Oh my lord. Backed off for a bit. Time to do a jump slam. Nice. Oh, we missed one. <laughs> I forgot these were skelly boys. Okay, nice. At least they give you plenty of time to kill them. That's actually kind of nice. That's plenty of time to kill these guys. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good. Oh, yeah. And we're getting decent souls, kind of. It's not the best, but it's all right. I'll take it. We need how much to level up? 15? Uh, somewhere around there, yeah. We get a lot of treasure, though, too. We should probably start using some of those... Pickled foot, right? Because to get extra XP. Probably. I mean, we don't got to use them in here, but... Maybe at some point. Ooh. I wonder if that's a good one or not. Good shoot. <coughs> Whoa! Yeah, that one... Something came up. Uh, not really. Our, tree, our oh, current shield is better. Fuck. Alright, whatever. Eh. Maybe this is a... Maybe this is like an earlier mid dungeon that we just missed. Oh, I mean, it's the Atlas Plateau. It's, mm -hmm. It shouldn't be that. Yeah, that's about mid level, this right? Kite, this uh, and the weird thing is that this kite shell I got at the relatively early area that, from a merchant. Oh, it's still coming in handy. Well, kite shields are usually pretty good in these games. We just run past them, unless there's treasure. I don't know. 
We don't have any bows, unfortunately. Oh, okay. I didn't have enough crystal darts to make them to start attacking the other one. Oh, that's what you're. Oh, there's one over there too. Fuck. Like I said, we can just run past him. Well, that works. Okay, at least one of them will start running after me now. We can't summon, which sucks. Ah, fuck. The giant who was not on my side. Oh, he had the fucking iframes. frames. And look at that health. I mean, okay, he's not that tanky, but... I don't know, man. I think we just need to get some back shots on him, you know? Mm -hmm. Go oh, goddamn, he got me. Okay, I'm just gonna roll past everybody now. Or run past. Because, like, the main thing we're here for is the boss. As long as we can get to that, we'll be fine. Yeah, so let's go beat his fucking ass. Oh, I want, man, I want to go beat his ass. I want that boss done. Oh, ow. Bop my knee. Eesh. This is not a bad idea to lay down. It's not the best thing to lay on, but it It's works. something, yeah. Eesh. The only problem is my lower back, like, it just, it just keeps hanging off, and it keeps Fuck. hurting. I can't fucking lay like that. Ooh, chest. New child. Didn't know we could get an opening chest. There's also another one back there I saw. I thought, I think, maybe. Could have been a message, I don't know. Loser. Wait, I remember this. Okay, I remember this cave. <coughs> well, yes, yeah, the goon cave, so. <laughs> of course you remember that one. You come in here all the time. Mm-hmm. It's my, it's my place. The goon cave. Do you think it'd be crazy if Mojo Jojo got himself like a bunch of minions and then he called them goons and then he, he came home one day to find out they were cooning? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you gooning in the goon cave again? <laughs> Alright, we have a bit better place now. I am Mojo Jojo. I am not a gooner. They should rename uh, Family Guy's, you know, street. Instead of Spooner Street, it should be Gooner Street. Necromancer. Oh, hot damn. He's hurting. What the fuck? Okay, so we do some decent damage, but it looks oh, like it's fuck. it looks like it's some decent payback here because mm -hmm. like they both do damage. We got damage on him, but... Yeah, maybe the wolves won't be as good for this guy. Uh, no, nah, we can probably summon the puppet guys, I guess. Yeah, they'll probably be good. Wait, we have to re-equip the lantern every time? Every time, yeah. That's the only downside. Why can't that just be an equipment? Why is there going to be a, an inventory thing? That's weird. Uh, there is an equipment, but like it's torches, basically, and they take up... Oh, yeah. Uh, a slot that we'd rather not have be taken up. Well, I know, yeah. Mm. I've played my fair share of souls. <laughs> One thing we could always do that I never do is put down the little wave markers. True. <clears throat> that way we uh, maybe have them light up a little bit. And on top of that, um, I don't know, remember where to go exactly. But, I mean, you already know where to go, so. Need to find 
Now, since the guy's a necromancer, that doesn't mean he's going to spawn new enemies, right? He I just... don't think so. So there's that little snake guy, but I think he's already there. Yeah, he spawns there. So we should probably kill that one first, because he'd roll extra roll around and, you know, get in the way. There we go. I was more thinking about, like, a jump slam, but... Oh, shit. Got him distracted. And now he's back. <laughs> and there's another fucking snake snail thing. There's another Woa. That's literally what it is, yeah. Is that what it's based on, too, maybe? Probably. What exactly is a. I mean, what? I just want to know, like, what. Like, is it just an actual. I don't really know. Like, what the lore or myth of that thing is. I'm gonna look that up. I think I looked up before, but I never remembered exactly what it was. Okay, as long as we deal with the Loas he summons, he, uh, he's blind. People can probably tell that we play SMT. <clears throat> oh, it's a Haitian. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's an intermediary spirit in Haitian mythology that stands between God and humans that expects to be properly served, not just communicating with their each distinct beings with their own personal likes and dislikes, distinct sacred rhythms, songs, dances, ritual symbols, and special modes of service. I fucking hate these websites with their fucking ads. Contrary to popular belief, the lower are not deities in and of themselves. They are intermediaries for dependent on a distant bondi. Bondi. So I guess they're just like a thing that just exists. <clears throat> they're not a god, but they can be, I guess, probably worshipped. I, I guess there's some spirit thing that's neither good or evil, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> From what I'm understanding... Well, it didn't say anything about being good or evil. It, it, it didn't specify whether it's, you know, it has that specific nature or not. I didn't know they were Haitian. Hmm. I honestly kind of thought they were like some type of Christian thing for a bit, to be honest with you. Same. Because I think snakes and skulls and I think Christian stuff. I know it's not the only religion out there, guys, or mythology out there, or whatever, you know. I know. In terms of, like, you know, SMT, Persona. There we go. Mythology, religion, and stuff. Family heads. Gross. We be good enough to level up. Almost. Uh few more breaks than yeah. That should be enough. Alright, cool. Back to the beginning we go. We got a cool cape though. Oh yeah. But there's some other stuff we could explore in here, but the boss is what we wanted and we killed him. Mm -hmm. And that's, no that's another strength level. We got we got the two levels we wanted, then we're just gonna get the two Zweihander levels. Mm hmm. And we should be fine. Which we could just break a lot of runes and see if we can Pretty much, yeah. We that. should have enough after that. At least with those, we don't need, like, 1,500 to fucking level up <laughs> this Vihander. So, we can always head back to the round table real quick and oh, yeah. pop some cherries. And I will tinkle again. Yes, it literally is because I've been drinking tea. <laughs> <laughs> you drink tea, it makes you tinkle a lot. If you want, you can either turn the heat off or just keep it on. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. He's praying. Praying him.
you know, sometimes I'll get like a small, like really, really tiny, like headache, and then I'll pop my neck, and I'll just feel better all of a sudden. It's weird. Like the only bone in my body that. All right, we're not plus ten. Oh. But uh, we can. Oh, we can go buy four more uh, fours because we can. We can buy up to fours. All right. Mm, ow. So yeah, we, Ronaldo's going down next. Uh, 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 once once we're done with this setup here. All right. We'll have more than enough damage. We upgraded like what one strength, maybe two, something like that. Just play through at the very least, and then now we got this. I don't know why I keep checking my phone. It's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no one's gonna fucking text me at one o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. It's become a habit now. Because, like, I I've missed so many messages before and I get scared. We need oh. more souls. Damn it. We I haven't used all oh, these yeah, yet. Oh, yeah, so we have plenty. And we have rune arcs, so if things get really bad. Mm-hmm. But can you use rune arcs for something else, or do we just keep them around? Uh, they're basically just used for, for, you, for you to be able to use the uh, great runes, which we can go get that and then go to oh. Renala. All right, let's do that. Hell yeah. We got plenty of time. Let's go do it. Alright, we're at plus 11 now. I think we should be fine. Yeah, so let's go to Godric's thing. Mm -hmm. which, which we gotta go to the I'm, tower, right? Yeah, which I already got this grace. Okay, cool. Cool. That's one tower to get through. Mm hmm. And Godric is like basically the second best one. And he's really good for mid game. Radon eventually out outclasses him, but he, Godric is still really good. So actually, what what exactly does this do? Uh, it's just like, it just lets you get certain abilities after consuming an arc, a rune arc. So like, oh. Godrix is just oh. general stat increases. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, Radon is more focused stat increases, I think. And they don't let you, you don't get weapons. No. Okay, because I know like normal souls, like you use boss souls to get weapons, yeah. but one of them I, uh, is basically just. Uh, yeah, the health system turns into Bloodborne. Sick. But uh, you heal less from from your flasks. Oh. As as, as the trade off. Mm. That's not too bad. But the problem is with that, like, if it works just like Bloodborne, can we only heal the damage we like specific bar of damage, or can we just yeah heal at any point at all? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I could take damage five minutes later, heal that damage. Oh, no, it works the same way as what Blood War, where, like, if you don't... Oh, you'll see you, the yellow bar. Yeah, you'll see, see the yellow bar, and you gotta gotcha. just, like... Yeah. Yeah, this is a really nice armor set we got, though. It looks kind of cool. Except we're not wearing... We're not wearing really long pants. Yeah. What are we even, pants are we even wearing? Oh yeah, the champion gators. Basically, we're literally wearing just shoes. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. All right. Well, while we while we go up the elevator, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Fuck, I'm tired as fuck. But I don't want to go to bed at all. Yeah, neither do I. That's the problem. I never want to go to bed. Is the thing. Me either. There's never enough fucking time in the day. If I could go without sleep, I would. Yeah. If I if I could never get tired ever, that'd be fucking amazing. I could get so much more done. If there was no consequences to to not being able to sleep, that'd be riveting. <laughs> that'd be great. I just love the contrast of looking at us from behind and going forward, just no pants. <laughs> it's great. You know, Vegeta, you know, why don't you go be a good boy and bring back somebody like, I don't know, say, Goku? That'd be great. Alright, now we did that thing. Now we're going to go beat up Ranala. Yep. I think. That's I the goal. Alright, time for the salty run back. Sweet. <clears throat> So this is yeah, raises going. all attributes. Damn. So there's no way in fuck we can lose Ranala now. And if these last until you die. I'm pretty sure. Huh. 
So breaking that one rune arc gave us extra stats? Yep. You got uh, everything increased. Huh. Until we... You said until we die? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have two of them, so... But they're great. I don't plan on dying. Oh. I thought they were used for... <laughs> runes. <laughs> I thought they were like, uh... You could use them for runes, or you could... No, I, they're literally just there as a buff. Depending on which great rune you're using. Huh. Alright. It's basically kind of like... This Elden Ring's form of humanity, in a way. Okay, fair. That's the best way I can think of to describe it. No, I gotcha. But... I mean, that's probably the closest thing I guess we could probably think of. To be fair. Although, when I use humanities, I use them for, like, burning. The way that Dark Souls 1's kind of laid out, I kind of need them. Kind of need to get my ten flasks, you know, the bonfires, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that concept or not, but yeah, you gotta, to get more flasks, you gotta burn. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Target spotted. And then I guess you, I don't know if you'd consider this a cool thing or not, but at least I think somewhere near halfway through the game, because since Dark Souls 1, at least the beginning half, is kind of laid out like a Metroidvania, you end up not needing to fast travel between bonfires too much. Um, but then, like, eventually you gain the ability to fast travel, like, halfway through-ish or so. Which I think is kind of cool, because, like, you don't really need it that much in the beginning, but also we're doing some really nice damage. Yes, it could be a lot better, but we basically almost two-shotted Renala right there. And took that, little, that took we took no fucking damage from that. I think it. Okay, we're two cycle her. I don't want to be a pessimist, but I think we probably only didn't take much damage because we were too far away. Probably yeah, that probably full helped. effect. So, but still, we're doing really good damage. We're doing good damage. That was weird. I didn't see what happened. Uh, it's just like we had a fully black screen for a couple seconds because of the environment. There right. he is. And we're already doing so much fucking better. I know, yeah. We leveled up at least twice, one strength for sure. And we got like five or six uh, levels onto our sword. Which is amazing. Sure was. It seems like that always locks on to somebody else. Damn. Okay, that, that was close. That was nice. Now, please. And we still have our skellies for next phase. Hopefully, they, she doesn't fucking summon something stupid. Like a... Or maybe we can kill her before she really does anything. I hope. Uh, damn, we dodged that pretty well. It'd be nice if these skelly boys actually like get her and stun like those dogs did that one time. That would be nice. This is also still one of probably like the coolest attacks in the game. Oh, yeah. And it's cool that you can just use it. Oh. That is sick as shit. Damn. Greed be damned, it doesn't matter. <laughs> ah, she's some Durgan. Oh, that's fine. I, I think I'd rather Durgan's have... Durgan's a lot easier to deal with. Yeah. Are you saying Durgan? Yeah. As in, like... hang a ding a Durgan. Not his actual name, but just... No. <laughs> I'm just saying Dragon Funny. Hopefully the dragon just picks on them. Oof. Scary move. Okay. Good thing we're able to tank that. Honestly. Bloodhound. That's fine. Her summons... I mean, the worst one is definitely the Bloodhound, but if we have our summons out for even just like a second... Okay, that sucks. That would have... That probably could have killed, couldn't it? Maybe. Where right, did it? <laughs> did they kill her? Uh, I did, I think. Oh, okay. I don't know. But still, all it took was a couple levels and a and a, and a huge sword. Who would have guessed? And we did it one try. Yeah. Hot damn. We're only an hour and twenty. We could still like crank out like another twenty-five if we yeah. really wanted to. 
So we got two shard bearers. Time to go to the other tower. Yeah, and now we can get another talisman pouch. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <clears throat> and we can reset our skills, our stats. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can level at least twice. Oh, shit. Also, my butthole's getting itchy. Ugh. Anyone does that. Also, I'm pretty sure episode whatever just got uploaded. Yeah, it's done. Good, finally. And now I can also buy uh, however much uh, things I need for one more upgrade into our sword. Yeah. Maybe I should check here to go find some things that might be... Pretty sure all I needed was six. Hmm. Wait, wait, need six for what now? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, for one more upgrade. Oh. Yep, I was right. Oh, if we had one more smithing stone to five, we could do another one. Wait a minute, hold on. We have a plus 12 Zwei hander now. Let's go. I think these were the fear episodes. Yeah, because if it wasn't, it would be called Eld. Ah. Uh, so, I was thinking, like, oh, man, we're safe. But then I realized, nah. And these are not, these are, yeah, these are, yeah. Episode 4 is done. For sure. Even, even if it's not fully good, then it's still, I'm pretty sure, on here. Mm-hmm. I have another idea of what we can do. Okay. We're gonna, it will require us fighting another fucking magma worm, though, but... Okay, let's go do it then, I guess. <laughs> Fuck it. I just realized, because I didn't die, my rune arc is still activated. Yeah. So I got that stat bonus going, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right, hold on, I think I think there's a site of grace over there, or at least maybe something. I don't remember. Yeah, there's a site. I'm Wait. I think I feel like there was... There's something over there for sure. I don't remember. Maybe there I don't remember if we, if we uh, came over here. There we is did site. not. Awesome. No apple, though. But Yeah, that's fine. No seed, I mean. No seed, no tear. No, no nothing. Well, there were tears, but they didn't drop one for us. Mm -hmm. It was just my own. Oh, fuck. I forgot, I forgot about, the, about getting invaded. This guy's really easy, though. Like, stupid. <laughs> one of the more easier invaders... To deal with. The Tardish Eater. I don't even know where they're fucking invading. Right oh, there, over yeah. there from the church. At least I didn't struggle too much, but then again, I was playing magic last time I fought him, so. Look at that. They do decent damage, but not enough to really matter. Nice. Get the fuck out of here. I forgot they spawned, though, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I, I, before, okay, before we do this, I, I forgot to go talk to the to the finger to get this other talisman pouch. Oh, alright. Having three talismans will be very helpful. Talk to the finger. So whose fingers are those? I don't know. I, have, I still have yet to actually go watch a lore video. I found a lore video, but it was 13 hours long. Ah. And I was like, that's my whole work day and then some. I'm good. I'm not watching a 13 hour video about lore. <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong, like, the lore is cool and all. Yeah, it's not worth it. I guess I'll just throw on fire because we're about to go fight a fire thing, anyways. Are you also potentially like me when it comes to Bloodborne, where like you feel like there's more lore than we what we what we know? Oh, probably. But like, I feel like we're all done. Like, I'm pretty sure we know everything. It just it. I just want something more, you know. The Bloodborne too, man. I just want Bloodborne too, even though it's probably not possible. I want Bloodborne too, and I want us to go to fucking space and fight in the cosmos. I mean, yeah, that'd be that'd be sick. I want to fight a great old one. We do that shit in this fucking game. You fight in fucking cosmos shit here. Even though it's underground. That's underground, yeah. But like, it just it looks cosmosy though. 
Well, the and some and like we fight a space based thing because we're like look at Astol. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we need to fight some of that shit. And Bloodborne too. We're talking about great old ones here. Mm -hmm. Things that basically exist within the outer realms. Why not fucking have that? Also, if we ever get a Bloodborne two, we need more effects of insight. We need to see more shit. Like there needs to be more creepy shit lurking in the background that only a certain amount of insight gives you. That'd be sick. That would be. We need to ha we need to have a thing where like if you get nine hundred ninety nine insight, the hunter stops playing, looks at the screen, and says, "Fuck you! I ain't moving anymore." And he just stops. <laughs> and the Take game pasta. And the game, yeah. <laughs> like he just becomes aware. At that point. Dude's got so much fucking insight. He knows he's a, he knows he's in, the, he's in a game. <laughs> That's some fuck shit, man. And he just no longer listens to you. And then he bleeds at you. <laughs> Hyper realistic blood comes from the screen. But yeah, I, I've told you about this before. But I feel the same. the The idea for Bloodborne, where it's like, I want to feel like there's something more that no one knows about mm -hmm. is the same thing I have for Mario 64 every fucking time. That was real, man. Well, we already figured out that. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, but I'm saying, like, that took years to find out. 20-some years to find that shit. To prove it. And it's like, uh, you know, I, I, I want to say recently, I mean, like, a few years back, you know, discovering the whole... Uh, negative energy from wet dry world you heard about that thing the negative effect uh, people feel that wet dry world gives you because of like the background and stuff and oh i think i might have heard of like a small mention of that maybe because like i remember seeing something about that and it's like why isn't there more details about this shit you know like i mean oh, yeah. wasn't there like a weird like th thing that they used in the background for wet dry world as well yeah it was like a real city yeah that's what it was used. yeah and it's like, I think it's the ambiance combined with the music, combined with, like, the background that made people feel like a negative energy. And it, I mean, we all, we all know why people probably feel that way, because, you know, it's a, it's a weird thing to see. It's mm -hmm. kind of off-putting for Mario 64. But, like, I, I just always feel like there's got to be a, something, there's got to be something else, man. There's got to be one more secret just lurking. Same thing with Luigi's Mansion gotta be something in that fucking place that we just don't know about yet, you know? And I want that. I crave for that. It's the same thing. It's the same fucking... Oh, he's not fucking dead. It's the same reason why that I feel like endings that are ambiguous are better than endings that get answered sometimes. Not all the time. It depends, you know? Sometimes I want a, sometimes I want a full ending. Sometimes I'm okay with an ambiguous ending, but it depends on... Uh, what is in question? The obvious answer, or the obvious thing I'm going to talk about here, of course, is Killing Joke. Oh, yeah. That has a very ambiguous ending, and I like it that way. I prefer it that way. But, for like, people, you know, they scream and they want answers, but, like, I think it's good enough that we don't have those answers. Sometimes not knowing anything is better than knowing something. Because it keeps you engaged, and that's where I feel like Mario 64 kind of falls on that pipeline. Now, I'm using Mario 64 because, like, Mario 64 is, no doubt about it, the thing that we all grew up with, like, back in the... Because there ain't no way a game nowadays can do the same thing Mario 64 can do in terms of, like, feeling like there's something... But, so, I mean, yeah, there's, like, Finance of Like, I know there's stuff like not Finance of Freddy's or whatever, you know, for a while. That was kind of a mysterious thing. We always get those, you know, poppy what the bedtime. Like, there's that shit, right? <laughs> like, eventually, but, but the problem with those games is eventually the devs are going to come out and be like, ha, 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 here it is, you know. Pretty much, yeah, because they, 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 they like answering what they th what they think would be cool. Yeah, they don't want to Sometimes they don't realize that the coolest thing to do is to not fucking tell us. Exactly. And then you have the whole Scott Cawthon Five Nights problem where, like, he ends up watching MatPat videos and says... That's a good idea. Let's not do that because he figured it out and do yeah. something else. Yeah, let's just pretend like Matt Pat was wrong. <laughs> he figured it out. Let's just make him a liar. <laughs> and and that's that's the that's the thing I don't like because like devs are too. So like devs are too powerful nowadays. Because back then when they were making Mario sixty four, they didn't give a fuck. They just made it. Exactly right. Maybe they maybe they hit some things here and there. Maybe, but I doubt that they probably hit him. You know, like, all that shit on 
I, I doubt they thought about like negative energy. Oh no, they weren't thinking of that. There, there ain't no fucking way. It's just a random like Japanese game dev studio that made it. By random, I mean Nintendo. But still, like, I don't think they thought that hard about it. Same thing like, like with Luigi's Mansion, like the hanging Luigi thing. It's just a glitch. It was just a glitch. Yeah, but it, it was so interesting that people put way more thought into it. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, like, I don't, I don't think Luigi's Mansion might have been rushed. I don't think so, but it might have been. But it's, just, it was still a phenomenal game. Yes, it still came out pretty fucking, pretty damn well. I know they were gonna have a dust meter, but then they took that one out, and I don't, I don't blame them for that. But there, like, you can tell there's a lot of things in there that was non-intentional because it's a game still. And that's the fun part about Nintendo games is, like, you always know for a fact that they make them at least a game first. They always prioritize fun. So they, a lot of time they try to, of course. But, yeah, what I'm trying to say always, is... always, because their sports games have been lacking lately. Oh, yeah, big time. I think it's just because they're just running out of ideas. They just don't want to make the same thing, but then mm -hmm. they end up making the same thing, but shitty. Yeah, like fucking uh, the, the Wii U Ultra tennis Smash, game. Yeah. And to an extent, the Switch Golf game, uh, Super Rush or whatever it's called, is not incredibly terrible, but I'd rather play Toadstool Tour. I'd rather play Mario Golf on 64. Yeah, you know? both are, those are both better. Uh, but I think I've heard good things about Mario Aces. Mario Aces looks okay. It, look, it, it looks, looks cool. Like, it looks about on par with the older ones, basically. What they need to do is, I mean, well, they try to bring about the RPG mechanic for Super Rush for the mm -hmm. Switch one. But I don't think many people probably cared much for it. I thought it was okay. I just wanted a golf game. But they actually simplified it. That's the boss. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking about what I want to do and which thing I want to use. But anyway, I, just because I have a fun topic to talk about, I guess. It's just like, I feel like nowadays, like I said, devs are way too, you know hand in the cradle. They got their hand in the cookie jar the entire time. You know, they're just like, they're purposely setting things up for a mystery rather than just having the mystery create itself. And I feel like it loses its luster because you didn't make the mystery. I mean, you, well, you made it. You, you, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. man-made. It's, naturally it's occur. crafted. Now, this might be a bias. Probably a huge one. But games like, uh, you know, the Souls games, having lore hidden throughout the worlds, you know, I feel like that's a better way of doing it. Again, that's a bias, I know, but I feel like they do a pretty good job at that. And I know a lot, it still baffles me when people say, like, the lore in Souls games are fucking trash because I have to go out of my way to find it. Well, I mean, technically, you just watch Vatavidia and you'd be fine, but... Oh, yeah, he'll <laughs> tell you. But, you know, like... Yeah, I think that's a pretty interesting thing to have, you know? I don't want to say any names, but the one YouTuber I watch that does RPG content... Oh, yeah. Not a fan of Souls games because of that reason. <laughs> like, that's a, a silly reason to not like Souls for. Like, if you really want to know the lore that bad, look it up on YouTube. You'll find them. Would you rather have a game drop audio logs everywhere, audio diaries everywhere, just so you can find out the lore of a game and have to listen to them while you're running? Or would you rather just have, like, NPCs kind of, like, build, you know, things that they know, and then you can kind of just put the pieces together yourself? I mean, unless you're, you know, if you're a dumbass like I am, you're not going to do that anyway. You're just going to go watch a lore video, but <laughs> it still feels like you're a part of that. It still feels interactive, you know? And that's what I want. Look, I don't mind the audio diaries in Bioshock, but that's, again, that's a bias on me. Um, but I, I just don't really much care for, like, having to read text logs or whatever to find out a story. I'm fine with the item description thing in Souls games. Like, I think that's cool. Um, that's just because I like Souls, so eat shit. <laughs> Same thing with you, Mr. Magma Worm. Eat shit. We got another dragon heart. We can go eat it. And we got. It's so so weird that this is where the, you get the moon veil. Is, wait, how much do we need to use it? 
Uh, we need we need more uh, intelligence to use it. Oh. It's a, it's a uh, it's a uh, intelligence based katana. Oh. Well, good. I to think know. we get another strength. I think. Guess I know what I'm going for. My okay, we're missing a little bit, but we should have we got rooms. rooms. We got rooms. Yeah. Okay, I didn't need to use the second one. Oh well. The thing is about creating a mystery out of nothing, like something that you don't make yourself, you let the game make itself. That's hard to replicate, I'm sure. I'm sure that'd be like, because the only way to have it happen, you'd be thinking the entire time, like, I wanted to see it happen. And then you would try to force it to happen, and then it would get messed up. So you really just have to let Lady Luck do that whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, we got a few more minutes, but how much... Uh, anything else that I were to potentially do would probably take a bit too long. Uh, what I could try doing is, I don't remember where, but uh, in that Atlas Plateau, there is another mariner. Okay. But I don't remember where. Uh, another thing I could do is just go grab the map from this, from this side. Yeah. I think it's a little up. Yeah. It's on that road somewhere on the top. So yeah, I think I'll just go grab that map from the top left and then okay. we can end it there. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, what we could do is, uh... Start making progress to whatever we're gonna do, but yeah, all right. I'm actually kind of sad that we're ending it now. At first, yeah. I was like, "Fuck this! I don't want to do it anymore." I mean, the next thing we can do is just Radon. Okay. We can either go go try fighting Radon or go to Rykard. Wow. Because I mean, technically, we could do it in any order we want, but well, yeah, I feel like course. Radon would be easier to do right now. But they're not mandatory bosses, no, right? No, none of them are. But we just want to go beat their ass. Yeah, we we have enough to go. We have enough done to go beat the game now. Do you think? Wow. <laughs> do you think? Uh, do we have enough strength to fight them? Uh, yeah, especially with with Radon, since we can summon a lot of uh, of people. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, this is where a bloody finger invades. But hey, we get yeah, at least this. We get at least this tier. Man, I don't want to end the episode now. Fuck, man. <laughs> it's like we're so close to end game five videos in <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's just the nature of Elden Ring especially with these longer videos which is fucking insane because when I first played it I was like I had, I gotta do all that and then I and then you were like oh yeah by the way you know cause I, I remember I got to the underground and I'm like oh my god there's so much down here it's like it's like the entire map all over again underground you're like yeah, there's a top there's a there's an upper Above the, the main earth, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm like, no, man, come on, <laughs> this fucking place is you, yeah, this whole thing's three times as big, but don't we have to go to the mountaintop of the giants to do our sh our mandatory shit? I will venture out to go there, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to get there at some point. All right. Fuck, I almost want to start another episode. I know it's like one thirty in the morning, but <laughs> I'm kind of crazy. I I want to know what's gonna happen next. I want to go fight some Radon and, and Crab Rangoon or whatever his name is. You know? Ra Colonel Radic? Radic? I, also, I honestly totally forgot about this area. Yeah, the big giant Mount war zone here. thing. Yeah. Oh, this fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Also, at some point, we can get kidnapped by the virgins. I just don't know how. Uh, it's a very specific area to, you can do it. And it takes you to uh, the, the, uh, the mansion with Rykard. Oh, sick. You know it's one way to get there. Do you know the specific area in question? Yes, I do. Yeah, it, it's in, it's in the academy. Oh, of course. <laughs> like the uh, the study academy, or yeah, the, it's in the Ronaldo's area. Okay. Speaking oh goddamn, we're getting fucking invaded. Yeah, because she appears over here. Yeah, I just remembered that we can't <gasps> get that. There's that Ed, that that Ertry guy up there. Yeah, he's up there. The 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 what do they call rotted ones, right? The rotted Ertry yeah. guy. Yeah. We can go try to fight him at some point. And he's like really good. For, he's a, he's the one that drops the really good magic build ones. We can just fuck with him. But I mean, I don't know if we're strong enough to do that. Fucking Christ, yeah. these dogs are getting in the way. This is why I kill the dogs first every time I come over here. I kind of forgot that we get an invader. Nice. And oh goddamn! I dead. There should be a grace somewhere nearby. Oh uh, yeah, I got the grace already. All right. Well, I mean, if anything, we can just. You can either try it again, or we can end... We can probably just end it there. 
Because like right. the only other thing I was gonna do was get the map, but I forgot that it'll be a lot for, a lot longer to get the map in this area. Yeah, there's a lot to do in this area too. By the way, like mm -hmm. a lot to do in this area. Yeah, because like the map is like not even yeah. anywhere discovered for us just yet. Oh man, and then we have like another cave we can go do too here. Mm -hmm. But okay, before real quick, I just want to test to make sure I'm right about something. Looking at me. I was right about something. Huh. That teleport is activated now. Oh, okay. So now we can finally get in there. Yep. Let's just fucking go there now. and. I, was, I, I, I haven't died yet, so that great room is still activated. We did die. We did? Oh, yeah, we did. Never we, mind. We just died. I forgot we just died. <laughs> yeah. I literally already forgot something that had just already happened. So if anything, we could just stop right before we're done. True. Because I don't think, because we're doing the uh, Radon Festival, we don't have to worry about any enemies here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. wow. So what we can just go fuck? grab those grapes and just run straight to the festival. What the fuck? I'll let you fight Radon for most, uh, a lot of it, since okay. it, you haven't done it before. Right, okay. Because I, the only, far, the farthest I've gotten was this boss guy up here. That, uh, beast guy. Mm-hmm. But if you, if you do it through the festival, then you don't even have to fight him. What the fuck? Well, that's a missable boss? Uh, in a way, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for now, yeah. I guess. I guess we'll see you guys next episode, and we'll take on Radon and do a few more other cool bosses. Hell yeah, dude. We might be able to end it in, like, next couple of videos. If yeah, we, if, if you want to, unless we would rather fight, get up, if you, unless you want to fight the other bosses. I want to fight some more bosses. I just realized that we're, I'm heavy rolling. We don't have to go that crazy, but I wouldn't mind fighting at least a few more here and there. Especially, like, big main, not main, but, like, big boy bosses, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then maybe taking out some gals, gals. It, it depends. Uh, I'm not going to give us a limit, but I... The perfect thing would to be end off like the next ep like next couple episodes would be awesome, because that would you know end the let's play. Yeah, it sounds cool. But I want to see more stuff. So there's, there's more, a lot more. I I, I at least want to beat all the great rune pairs. Okay, let's do that. We'll beat all five. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's actually seven. I learned. Oh, there's well, two more. Well, we'll, we'll. All right, I'll make that an exception. We'll beat all seven. Yeah, because we got Melania. Then... We got Mog. Uh... Oh God damn it. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go to do the Mog moment. No, Melania. Oh, yeah, that too. I've never fought her, and I've never even fought Mog. Mog's nowhere near as bad as Melania. Okay. Mog's actually relatively simple, as long as you're patient. Oh, shit. Also, if you're a magic build, Mog's a joke. Nah, f makes sense. Alright, well, we'll figure it out next time, and then uh, we'll see you then, I guess. So, take care, everybody.